Did you know that from Apple's Files app, you can not only share any iCloud file or photo, but you can also create a link for yourself to include in Apple's notes, reminders, calendars, and other apps. Or that built within our powerful PDF editing capabilities like merging and splitting PDFs, deleting or reordering pages, copying pages to other PDFs, as well as several markup options. Also, you can zip any file or folder as well as image and PDF compression. You can scan documents directly here, connect to external servers and external drives. You have advanced search and filter options and powerful quick view options. 99% of iPhone or iPad users don't know this. You can get into the 1% in the next few minutes once I've shown you these possibilities. So stay tuned. Apple has included the Files app now for several years and it got better and better with even more powerful capabilities over the years. They now have included a lot of the advanced functions you'll find in the Mac's Finder as well as the very powerful Preview app. In this video, we will go through these 10 power features. Number one, sharing files with others as well as creating internal links to files and folders you can use with most apps like Notes, Calendar, Reminders, as well as third-party apps. Number two, powerful PDF editing capabilities like highlights and notes, pen markups, text shapes, and signatures, locking PDFs, deleting and reordering pages, splitting and merging PDFs, as well as copying pages between PDFs. Number three, advanced search options like type and date range. Number four, quick selecting multiple files or folders. Number five, the power of the context menu with quick actions. Number six, scanning directly into a folder and creating a PDF. Number seven, connecting to a server. Number eight, connecting external drivers. Number nine, drag and drop actions. And number 10, quick preview of multiple documents within a folder or a search. Sounds great, right? Let's start. Did you know that you can link to any iCloud file or even folder within any app which supports hyperlinks like Apple Notes and that this link will work then across all your devices, Mac, iPhone and iPad, and not only on a Mac. I bet a lot of you have the same problem when it comes to projects of any type, personal or business. You have all these documents in your file system and you have your notes. And maybe you have your notes in a notes app like Apple Notes, which is separate from your file system and you would like to link to some files or folders you have in your iCloud drive, but you can't figure out how to do it. That is because Apple made it not really obvious to do so, but it can be done. And once you know it, it is quite easy. The trick is that you need to share it with yourself. That means with your Apple ID, which you use on your, all your devices. Through this, you can create a link to any file or folder and since iCloud Drive syncs to all your devices, that link will also work on all of them. In this way, I can as an example connect my notes in Apple Notes with folders in iCloud Drive. I use it often to connect a project or client notes with a folder where I collect further documents regarding the project or the client. I can also link to a folder or a file in Apple Calendar, Apple Reminders and lots of other third-party apps like Things 3 as well. You go to the Files app. In there you select either a file or a folder and make a long press on it until the context menu appears. Then select Share. Make sure that Collaborate is selected. Tapping on the text under Collaborate option allows you to define if only invited people can use this link and whether they can make changes or not. Also, if other can invite other people to this. If you want to create an internal link, make sure only invited people and can make changes are selected. By default, the option invite with link is not available. To make it visible, you need to go to the end of the list of apps presented and there press on the three dot symbol called more. Scroll down and under suggestions, you will find the option invite with link. Click edit in the top right corner, then press the plus symbol in front of invite with link. This will add it to the shown apps in the share menu. Scroll back up with the hamburger icon, you can select where you want to place this option. Since I use it frequently, I'll put it at a higher position. Tap done and done again. From now on, that option will be visible whenever you select share collaborate. Next, you enter your iCloud mail address if you want to create an internal link or if you want to share it with someone else, you enter their email address. Finally, you click share link. Now the link is in the clipboard and you can enter it wherever you like. I'll put it in a note in Apple Notes for now. And if you think that in Apple Notes the link looks pretty ugly, well, Apple Notes allows you to change that. Just write the text you would with in the link. I'll go with my cursor in the link just behind the first letter. Then I delete the rest after the text I would like and at the end delete the first letter of the original link. Boom! The link still works. By the way, this trick works on Mac, iPhone and iPad. 
be aware that when you enter your own iCloud address in the share dialog, these documents will not show up under the shared view in the files app. There, you will only see documents you shared with others. Let's now try these links. I've put them in Apple Notes, which syncs across all my devices. And as you can see, these references now work on all my devices, since all my files are synced under the same iCloud address. Also, my devices are smart enough to check that although it is a web link referencing iCloud.com, the files will open locally on the devices without a need to be re-downloaded every time I click that link. Pretty handy, right? And these links also work on any other machine through iCloud.com. If you open your note in Apple Notes through iCloud.com and click on such a link, iCloud Drive will open up in a new window and present the file to you, like magic. I have to confess, even though I have other PDF programs like PDF Expert for advanced PDF business, 99% of the time I use the built-in functionality of the Files app. Apple has added so much functionality to it that most of my day-to-day -day needs are now met by this. Let's go through it. You can select any text in a PDF and in the context menu, you get the option to highlight it. From there, you can select different colors as well as underline and strike through. Once you've selected a color, tapping again on the highlight will give you the option to add a note. Tapping again on the highlight allows you to remove only the note or the highlight including the note completely. Clicking on the pen icon allows you to mark up the PDF, which is especially great on an iPad using the Apple Pencil. You have the usual pen, highlighter, crayon, eraser, selector and ruler tool. Tapping on any of these pencils gives you the option to select line thickness as well as opacity. Clicking on the eraser lets you switch between a pixel eraser where you can select the thickness of the eraser or an object eraser which allows you to remove objects with just one tap. The ruler tool is a great way for producing straight lines. You can rotate it with two fingers and it snaps in at 45 degrees intervals. With the color palette you can change the color before and after drawing. The color wheel allows for even more finer color control and the color selector allows you to pick any color from the screen. From the pen palette you can add text by tapping on the plus icon and selecting text. You can then freely place the text, resize the box and by tapping on the double A button in the palette, you can select three different fonts as well as the size and alignment of the text. From the plus icon in the palette, you also get four of the most used shapes, square, circle, text bubble and arrow. You can resize them, pick any color and change thickness and fill status from the little icon to the left of the palette. You can add signatures to quickly sign documents here. Tap on the plus icon and select signature. Here you can add or remove a signature. Best to use the pencil for this. Also you can give it a label in case you'll use multiple signatures. A magnifier is great if you want to focus someone's attention on parts of the PDF, probably for correction or something. Select the magnifier from the plus icon. With the blue dot you resize the circle of the magnifier and with the green dot you change the zoom factor. By the way, tapping on any of these objects allows you to also get rid of them. From the little down arrow beside the file name, you have the option to lock the PDF via a password. You can easily change the order of pages in a PDF document by long tapping and then dragging the thumbnail of the page in the left sidebar. Long tapping or center tapping on any page thumbnail in the sidebar gives you a context menu which allows you to rotate the page, copy the page, insert a blank page, insert another PDF or image, directly scan pages into the existing PDF or deleting the page. You can easily copy a page from one PDF to another by opening one of the PDFs in another window side by side or using the new stage manager feature. Then enter the other PDF in the files app. Now you can either drag the thumbnail from one document to the other or select copy from the context menu of the page and paste it in the other document by long pressing on an empty spot in the left sidebar and selecting paste. There is no direct split option here, but the easiest way I found to achieve this is by printing the PDF in the print dialog. Select then only the pages you would like to transfer, then do a two finger extend gesture on one of the thumbnails and this will create a new PDF with just the selected pages. Save it to files via the share menu, press done and you're back in the print dialog. Press cancel because you don't want to print it any longer and delete the pages if you want from the original file. Another option is to duplicate the file and delete pages in each version. 
merging multiple PDFs. You can combine two or more PDFs into one, either by importing the pages as mentioned before from within the document with the page context menu, or you can also create a new merged PDF by selecting multiple PDFs and selecting create PDF from the more option. As you can see, you have lots of PDF power packed into the files app and you might not need another PDF solution. Of course, you can simply search for file names, but the search within the files app can do so much more. Typing in a file type like PDF allows you to filter by file type. Typing in a time description like today, yesterday, last Wednesday, two weeks, six months, or just typing a date and then selecting the date option from the drop down menu allows you to pinpoint the time the document was created or edited. You also can combine these searches by typing a part of the title adding a type and a time frame to really pinpoint your search. The only thing search currently doesn't do is searching text within documents. Maybe this will come in the next update. You can use the select button to select multiple files or folders, or you can use the two finger swipe down method, which works in most other apps as well, like mail, reminders, etc. Then you have a selection of actions at the bottom to share them, duplicate them, move or delete them. And the more, you will also get different actions depending on the selected file type. Clicking done in the upper right ends the selection. Long tapping on any folder, file or group of them gives you a context menu with lots of options and actions. Some not so obvious ones are these. You can remove the download from iCloud if you want to free up the space. The file will still be in iCloud but will be downloaded again next time you click on it. From get info you get all kinds of information like creation and edit date. In case of images you also get resolution and lots of camera infos. You can see and copy the path of the file under where. You can compress one or multiple files into a zip package. Unfortunately you can't give a password here. I hope Apple will add this soon. You can combine multiple files under a new folder. Quick actions allow you to reduce the size of images or PDFs. With images you can also rotate one or many images at once, create a PDF from them or convert them to another file format while selecting the image size. Also with newer devices you can automatically remove the background from multiple images. Also when you are in search or in the recent view you can jump to the folder the file is in via show in enclosing folder. You can directly scan into a PDF in any folder by pressing the three dot menu from the sidebar and selecting scan documents. Here you can select auto or manual mode as well as define whether you want to scan color, grayscale, black and white or photo. You can scan multiple pages into a document and afterwards edit the pages. That means cropping, deleting, rotating and changing the color scale. If you have a server or an NAS drive at home, you can directly connect to it. Tap the three dot icon in the sidebar and select connect to server. Then you will need to enter the protocol followed by double colon slash slash and the server name or address. Here I'm connecting to my in-house Synology using the SMB protocol. Next you need to select whether you want to join as a guest or as a registered user. I'll pick the letter and then enter my credentials. Then I tap on next and I will find my server in the side panel under shared. You can directly plug in USB-C devices on your iPad or you use a lightning adapter for the iPhone and access your files from any external drive. Also you can swap files from your local or your cloud to your drive and vice versa. You can also use drag and drop to do some file operations. You can move files from other apps into the files app like dragging mails into a folder. By the way, if you want to view those imported EML files, you need an app called EML Viewer. Then you can view those files from the share menu. Also, you can move stuff from the files app into other apps like copying multiple files into Apple's mail or notes. You can also move stuff with the drag and drop from one to another folder. The last tip is for quickly previewing multiple documents within a folder or a search. If I preview one file or image in a folder, I quickly have access to all other files via the list option in the upper left. Here I can quickly jump to any other file without needing to go back and forth between the folder view and the document preview. Also just swiping left and right lets you quickly go through them. Okay, there you have 10 great features you get with Apple's fantastic files app. Did you know them and use the power of all of these 10 tricks already or have you learned something new today? Please write me in the comments below.
Also, if you have some more cool tips and tricks for the files app, leave a comment as well. If you like this content, please make sure that you press the like button. And if you haven't yet, you should really subscribe to my channel to make sure you stay ahead on your Apple game. And since we are talking about connecting things on your Apple devices, you should check out my other video where I will teach you how to connect your Apple mails to your notes, reminders, files and more. Check it out here. That's it for now. See you next time. Bye.